10 DIFRO med tutors. In this video, I'll be discussing the approach you want to take to study the cranial nerves. We're going to head over to the Explain Everything interactive whiteboard, discuss the overview of the cranial nerves, and then we're going to talk about cranial nerve 2 in more detail. You would like to know the name of each cranial nerve. The second thing you want to know is the foramen used by that specific cranial nerve. You would like to know if the cranial nerve is going to be motor innervation, sensory innervation, or mixed. If that specific cranial nerve carries motor innervation, you want to know which muscles it innervates. If it's going to have sensory aspect of innovation, you want to know which aspects or areas it's going to carry sensory fibers for. The last key thing you want to know for each cranial nerve is you want to identify is it going to be involved in any reflexes? If so, is it going to be an afferent part of a reflex? or an efferent part of a reflex. For each cranial nerve, you want to answer these five questions that we raised. And an example we're going to use is going to be cranial nerve number two. The first thing, the name of cranial nerve number two is going to be the optic nerve. You want to know the optic nerve is going to enter the skull using the optic foramen. The third thing we want to find out is the optic nerve going to be sensory, motor, or mixed. You want to know that the optic nerve is going to be a sensory nerve. It's going to be responsible for vision. Now we want to find out is this nerve going to be responsible or used in any reflexes. To answer this question, we're going to have to switch off the lights. When you shine a light into the patient's eyes, the first thing that's going to happen is the patient needs to sense the light. That's going to be an afferent aspect. Cranial nerve 2 will be responsible for the afferent aspect of the pupillary light reflex. The response you're going to see in the patient is going to be a constriction in the pupil this is going to be using cranial nerve 3. This is going to be an approach that you want to take for your cranial nerves. You want to use this method to understand and go over each cranial nerve in this detail, allowing you to have a big picture of what you need to know. Feel free to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are interested in registering for the high yield reviews, please contact med tutors.